This is the Komodo K5 fluid head made by a company called iFootage. Here I have it mounted on a monopod made by the same company. The K5 is an entry level fluid head so it has your basic pan and tilt but no drag controls. But that makes it a very minimalistic, lightweight and easy to use video head. The head is amazingly well built. The whole thing is very beautifully machined and it has a full metal construction. I cannot find any plastic parts on this head apart from the bubble level. So there you have it, it has a bubble level and that's the only plastic part on this head that I can find. So the head has four knobs in total. This knob releases the base plate so you can slide it out and actually put your camera on it. This one releases the handle so you can change the angle of the handle or you can also completely take out the handle and mount it on the other side depending on the operator's preferences. This knob is the tilt lock so you can tighten it so the head doesn't tilt anymore. And this one is the pan lock. So you'll notice a red pushy bit on one side of the head. That is actually a safety pin release. So even if you have your base plate unlocked, it's impossible for it to slide out accidentally and send your camera crashing to the floor unless you push that in and then you can take your base plate out. Now a neat thing that they've included while designing the head is they have distance scales on both sides of the base plate and a little white line as a marker on the actual head. So you can actually record or note down the configuration as you move the base plate back and forth to balance your camera on the head. So next time you do it again, you just remember what setting you did it at and just repeat that so you don't have to go around hunting for balance all over again. It also has the same scale on the underside of the base plate for you to note down where along the length of the base plate you mounted your camera, which I think is something that's really, really well thought out. It's just one of the small things on a product that communicates to the end user that the people who made it knew what they were doing. So this is a very simple and minimalistic head and that's all I have to say about it. There's nothing fancy about it. It's just a very well-constructed head with a really smooth pan and very smooth tilt, which is the most important thing you want in a fluid head. It's a very small and compact head, but its maximum payload is five kilograms which is more than sufficient for most situations so to top it off the price of this video head retails for 149 dollars and that's all i have to say about this head any questions any comments just leave them in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video